Good afternoon. This is Rich Ness. I am here for this week's installment of Five Minutes With. This week, I have the pleasure of speaking to Bruce Powell Douglas. Bruce is IBM's Internet of Things chief evangelist. And uh, Bruce is pretty famous in the embedded software space. He's been a speaker at dozens of conferences and, and things like that, and he's a speaker on webinars and all that stuff. So I know he's um, very well in tune to the industry. Hello, Bruce. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine, thank you, as we uh, approach the winter here in New Jersey. Okay, so uh, we have five minutes, so um, let me get into this. So uh, I'm, I'm looking at your bio, and you went to medical school, and you have a doctorate in neurocybernetics. Now, that is a very long way from the Internet of Things. Is there, is there any connection between the IoT and you know, what you went to school for? Well, when I went to uh, my graduate program, I was interested in neural computation, how to... Uh, disparate, small, primitive systems like neurons do emergent collaborative behavior. And so I provided uh, kind of some mathematical and analytic tools for reasoning about that kind of behavior, those kinds of things. Uh, I think that if you look at the IoT, that's very similar, actually, uh, in terms of you have all kinds of disparate things, things you want to analyze uh, trends over a vast number of elements, uh, and be able to manipulate, control, analyze, and understand that kind of emergent behavior. So I think it's actually kind of related. Okay. I wasn't sure you were going to be able to draw that line, but you did, and you did very nicely. Okay, so uh, I know a little bit about you, and I know that uh, you're a physical fitness buff. Uh, do you use the IoT in any of your training? And um, I'm imagining that that's going to change and It'll potentially, it'll potentially change drastically over the next 10 years. What do you think about that? Well, I'm actually a pretty connected athlete. I do Ironmans, ultramarathon cycling, ultramarathon swimming. Uh, and, uh, I've been doing these sorts of things for, for a pretty long time. I did a 500-mile bicycle race in 1985. Okay? Uh, so I have power meters, uh, biometric devices, I monitor training. I look for trends in, in, in fitness and heart rate and in, in various kinds of biometric data as well as performance data. Uh, so I'm actually a pretty connected uh, athlete, both when I'm racing and when I'm training. So I think that, that that kind of information allows me to make better decisions about when to train, when to rest, nutrition, uh, all kinds of training aspects. So I think it's actually... Uh, gives me capabilities beyond that I might have if I just did more, if you will, intuitive training. I would definitely agree with that. How do you see that, train, uh, how do you see that changing? What do you think your connection is going to be in 10 years? Well, I don't have any devices actually implanted in my body yet. Um, that may change uh, as, as sensors get more robust in the presence of, you know, all kinds of fluids and, 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 and whatnot, the kind of chemistry of the body, as they allow you to monitor more precisely different things. For example, I have some devices that monitor via, via <clears throat> external electrodes uh, performance properties of musculature during, during performance, right? So I can look at what kinds of training, the effect of training, and I think that's just going to in, increase and improve uh, my ability to perform as I uh, start outliving some of my uh, uh, competitors in the age group uh, 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 races. Are you open to that? Are you open to having electronics embedded in your body? Um, I think it needs to be a proven technology, but in principle, sure. Of course, security, privacy are a big issue around that, uh, besides just the kind of medical issues. And that, those need to be addressed and those need to be solved. So it sounds like you're not going to be a beta tester, but you're willing to go in there after somebody else has proven it works. <laughs> well, I would even be uh, willing to help prove those technologies. But I think that uh, it's important and actually crucial that we secure not only the cloud side of the IoT, but also the, the, the T side, right? Uh, and I really focus more on the T side than the I side. Uh, so whether that T side is embedded medical sensors, uh, embedded medical actuators, 
I, last month I was working on an aircraft carrier. So regardless of the size and scope of those, of those T's in the IoT space, those systems need to be secured uh, as well. And so that, that's a, a big issue for me. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, I look forward to seeing that stuff, and I look forward to seeing that stuff on you. Um, um, we have used up our five minutes. That was Bruce Powell Douglas. He is IBM's Internet of Things Chief Evangelist, and I am Rich Nass with Open Systems Media. Have a great day.